Hello, English learners. Welcome back to English Pod. My name is Marco, and I'm Erica. And today we're bringing you the eighth part of our dramatic romantic love story. I'm sorry, I love you. That's right. We're coming close to the end of this story, aren't we? Yeah, we're coming close to the end, and we still have a lot of、uh, interesting things going on. So I wonder what's going to happen. Well,、um, I can tell you that today's lesson involves this word, which we'll hear in vocabulary preview. Vocabulary preview. So today we're just going to look at this one word. Spy. A spy. A spy. Spy. All right. So we probably know famous spies like James Bond or Austin Powers. Right. So basically, it's a person who is secretly trying to get information about a government or maybe a business. Right. So that's a spy. Now the verb to spy. Same thing, right?、Mm-hmm. To spy on someone,、yep. to spy on a company. Yep. So, why are we talking spies and spying here in English Pod? Why don't we find out by listening to our dialogue? I haven't been completely honest with you, Veronica. I'm sorry. I'm not a fireman. I'm not even from the United States. I'm a spy for the Indian government. What? Why didn't you tell me before? What are you doing here? When I was a young boy, I used to play cricket with my father back in my hometown of Hyderabad. It was a peaceful town, and my father was a renowned chemist. One day, he was approached by members of the CIA, claiming that my father had made the discovery of the millennium in his small lab back at the university, where he taught biochemistry. I never saw him again. I vowed to discover the whereabouts of my father. And consequently, joined the Indian Intelligence Bureau. What does that have to do with those men shooting at us?、And、most importantly, why did you lie to me? I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to meet you. I wasn't supposed to fall in love with you. But you have to believe me when I tell you that what I feel for you is real. I can't believe this. Why are all these things happening to me? I, I can't take it anymore. Let me out of the car. Veronica, wait. All right, so Stephen is not even American. He's an Indian spy. He's not even a firefighter. <laughs> well, there you go.、See? Oh my God! Many surprises on this love story. It gets deeper and deeper. <laughs> well, why don't we take a look at some of the vocabulary that was used in this great story in language takeaway? Language takeaway. Well, here we've got a lot of language、uh, that you can use when you need to be honest about something. We're going to look at six phrases here. Now, the first one: Stephen says he needs to come clean. Come clean. Come clean. Right. So basically, he needs to tell the truth. He needs to confess. Confess, right?、Mm-hmm. About something that he maybe wasn't truthful about in the past. Yeah, maybe he had a secret, or maybe he lied about something. Yep. So now he's coming clean.、Mm-hmm. Very good. So he comes clean and he tells the story about his childhood, and he says his father was a renowned chemist. Renowned. Renowned. Okay, so if you are a renowned chemist, you are very famous and well respected. So you can use that with people, with places. A renowned restaurant. Okay, so very popular, very well known. Yeah, we also hear it's commonly like this: a world renowned. Chemist,、okay. a world-renowned restaurant. So it's not only popular locally, but the whole world knows about、mm-hmm. it. Very good. All right, and so he continues with his story, and he says he was approached by members of the CIA. Approached. To be approached by. Okay, so if I am approached by somebody from the CIA, what does that mean? Well, they they come to talk to you about something、uh, really important. Okay, so the verb to approach someone can mean get close to. Right, to walk up to them or something like that. Right, but it also carries this this meaning of coming to talk to you about something. Something important. Something very important. Yep. So, for example, I can say my boss approached me this morning to talk about an important pay raise. 
Ooh, lucky you. <laughs> or maybe um, Jim approached me to ask if I know if his wife is cheating on him or not. Wow. All right. So that's how you would use this verb, approach someone. Now let's move on to the next word. So he was approached by members of the CIA and they were claiming something about his father. That's right. So to claim. Claim something. To claim something. All right. So basically, when you're claiming something, you are saying that it's true. Right. It might not be true. But we don't know. Yeah. So for example, he claims he makes $4 million a year. Okay. Or Bob claims that he saw a UFO. Mm -hmm. We can't prove it if it's true or not, but that's what they're saying is true. Yep. So Stephen's father disappeared and, well, he vowed to discover where he was. So Stephen vowed to find his father. Vow. To vow. So this verb to vow means to make a strong promise, right? Yes. And we use it also in marriage, right? Wedding vows. Wedding vows, which are basically promises. Mm -hmm. So if you vow something, you make a very strong promise. Yes. It's very, very bad if you break a vow. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. What happens? I don't know. Probably thunder <laughs> strikes you and you die. <laughs> All right. So don't break your vows. Yeah. And the last word on language takeaway today, the whereabouts. The whereabouts. The whereabouts of his father. Mm -hmm. So the whereabouts is the location. The location. Kind of unknown location, right? Right. I think this is a great word for us to listen to some more examples. Example one. The police don't have any information on the whereabouts of the murderer. Example 2. Currently, the whereabouts of the president are unknown. Example 3. You live in Toronto too? Whereabouts do you live? All right, so whereabouts, perfect. You can use it for location, unknown location. Mm -hmm. All right, so some great words. Now, I want to move on to some phrases that we heard in the dialogue. Um, and let's look at those now in Fluency Builder. Fluency Builder. All right, on Fluency Builder today, we have four great phrases. And let's start with the first one. What's going on? So Veronica asks, what's going on? Steven, what's going on? Basically, what's happening, right? What's happening? What, what, what's, what's the situation? Yeah. Now, another interesting thing is that among friends, you could use this phrase to say... Hey, how are you? How are you? How's yeah. it going, right? Yeah. So you can say, hey, Erica, what's going on? And it all depends on your, your tone of voice. So um, when you want to know how that person is, hey, Marco, what's going on? Right. But if you're angry or maybe something strange is happening you're like hey what's going on here yes so your your voice falls right now let's take a look at our next phrase and this one is very very useful mm -hmm. especially if you've lied yes so steven says i haven't been completely honest with you i haven't been completely honest with you i haven't been completely honest with you so that means he hasn't been telling the whole truth. Right. Pretty easy to understand. But I think its use is interesting here. Right. You might use it to kind of soften up the person to confess something. Right. So when you're ready to come clean about a secret you have or a lie you told, this is a great way to prepare your listener. Right. You know what? I haven't been completely honest with you. Yep. Moving on to our third phrase. So the CIA claimed that Stephen's father had made the discovery of the millennium. The discovery of the millennium. Discovery of the millennium. Okay, let's break this down. Millennium. Millennium is a thousand years. Right. So the discovery of the millennium is... The best, most important discovery in the past thousand years. Right. So now we can change it a little bit and say the invention of the millennium. Or even the party of the millennium. Exactly. So it doesn't necessarily have to be the most important of the last 1,000 years. But it means it was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah. Very important. Yeah. Hey, you can also say the, the discovery of the decade, right? Of the decade, of the century, yep. of the year. Yep. And now let's take a look at our last phrase. So Stephen confessed he came clean. He told her everything, but he said he wasn't supposed to fall in love with her. I wasn't supposed to. 
I wasn't supposed to fall in love with you. All right, so let's look at this phrase, I wasn't supposed to. It's an interesting one. It's sort of like a cross between I didn't need to and I shouldn't have done. Right. Now, let's look at some examples. I wasn't supposed to come to work today. All right, so you didn't need to. It wasn't necessary. All right, so maybe it was your annual vacation day, but you came into work anyway. Or maybe it was a holiday、yeah. and I came to work anyways. So, so the plan was not for you to come to work. Right. So in this case, we're saying it wasn't necessary.、Mm -hmm. Or it wasn't planned. Or planned. Yeah. Now let's look at it the other way when you shouldn't. Okay. Marco, I wasn't supposed to tell you this, but. Okay. So now in this case, you shouldn't be telling me this. You shouldn't tell me the secret. Yep. But you're going to, anyways. Yes. <laughs> Off air. <laughs> so, I wasn't supposed to. In this case, it means I shouldn't.、Mm -hmm. All right, some really great language here. Now, I think it would help us to hear it one more time in the dialogue. I haven't been completely honest with you, Veronica. I'm sorry. I'm not a fireman. I'm not even from the United States. I'm a spy for the Indian government. What? Why didn't you tell me before? What are you doing here? When I was a young boy, I used to play cricket with my father back in my hometown of Hyderabad. It was a peaceful town, and my father was a renowned chemist. One day, he was approached by members of the CIA. Claiming that my father had made the discovery of the millennium in his small lab back at the university, where he taught biochemistry. I never saw him again. I vowed to discover the whereabouts of my father and consequently joined the Indian Intelligence Bureau. What does that have to do with those men shooting at us? Most importantly, why did you lie to me? I'm sorry. I wasn't supposed to meet you. I wasn't supposed to fall in love with you. But you have to believe me when I tell you that what I feel for you is real. I can't believe this. Why are all these things happening to me? I, I can't take it anymore. Let me out of the car. Veronica, wait! Okay, great. So now we're getting close to the end of this series. So what's going to happen? Maybe Veronica's also a spy. Oh my God, I don't think I can handle that. <laughs> All right, so we really need your suggestions. We need your ideas. We want to know how you think the series ends or how you would want it to end. Do you want it to be a happy ending? Or a tragedy? Or maybe action filled ending? All right, well, we've got two lessons left in this series, so visit our website at EnglishPod.com and leave your suggestions. All right, guys, we'll see you guys there. And until next time, goodbye. Bye. <laughs> The English Pod Audio Review. Listen to the meaning, then say the vocabulary word. Happening. Go on. Confess. Tell everything. Tell the truth. Come clean. Truthful and moral in behavior. Trustworthy. Honest. A person employed to find out secret information about other countries or organizations. Spy. Well known. Renowned. To assert as a fact. Claim. One thousand years. Millennium. Promised. Vow. The approximate place where a person or thing is. Whereabouts. Well known for some bad reason. Notorious. Done or acting in secret. Undercover. Federal Bureau of Investigation. FBI. 
an unimportant small lie. White lie. Tell false information to for fun. Pull someone's leg. Let's try that faster. An unimportant small lie. White lie. Well known. Renowned. One thousand years. Millennium. Well known for some bad reason. Notorious. Tell false information to for fun. Pull someone's leg. Truthful and moral in behavior. Trustworthy. Honest. Federal Bureau of Investigation. FBI. A person employed to find out secret information about other countries or organizations. Spy. The approximate place where a person or thing is. Whereabouts. Done or acting in secret. Undercover. Promised. Vow. To assert as a fact. Claim. Happening. Go on. Confess. Tell everything. Tell the truth. Come clean. Now say the word and hear it in a sentence. Come clean. The murderer came clean and confessed everything to the police. Come clean. Carl's teacher caught him cheating on his exam, and so he had to come clean with the principal. Come clean. I decided to come clean with my parents and tell them that I quit school. Renowned. This is a restaurant renowned for its fine wine. They have over 200 wines from all over the world. Renowned. Stephen Hawking is a world-renowned physicist who has done extensive research on black holes. Renowned. I had dinner with a renowned photographer from the National Geographic. Claim. Carl, there's a boy outside claiming to be your son. Claim. The World Wildlife Federation claims there are less than 430 Siberian tigers left in the world. Claim. There is a drunk man outside the school claiming he is Santa Claus. Max wasn't supposed to know about his surprise birthday party. You ruined the surprise. I wasn't supposed to study architecture. I accidentally chose it on my registration form. You are not supposed to be here. Your classroom is down the hall. Doris is always complaining about her boyfriend. I can't take it anymore. Children, please be quiet. I can't take it anymore. I can't take it anymore. Tomorrow I'm going to quit my job.